Uh, my name is Jay Walter, and I am a one of uh, a few. Let's see, one of six branch directors that we have out here on the incident right now. Uh, branch director is uh, basically a field operations chief, so I oversee multiple divisions. And what we'll do on a fire that's this large and in scale, we'll break it up into geographical areas, and we'll break those geographic areas up into smaller, manageable divisions. We have the actual firefighters out here on the fire line that are fighting the fires, and they report to a division supervisor. And then there might be six division supervisors that report to a branch director like myself. FEMA supported uh, a, a lot of the operations out here, in, basically in helping mobilize some of the equipment to get it headed this way. Now, talking with some of our, our cooperators out here and partnering agencies, we entered into Unified Command with CAL FIRE, but CAL OES, uh, the Office of Emergency Services here in California, uh, placed an order for additional resources from all across the country. They basically said, we need engines, we need firefighters, we need help to come uh, over here and help out with the Thomas Fire. So what FEMA did is it freed up funds and the ability for them to order those resources and have them, you know, respond and show up here in California to help fight these fires. Some of the, the FEMA grants that different agencies and departments and land management agencies have applied for, I know that it definitely it assists them in, in helping, uh, you know, not only fight these fires, but maybe purchase equipment or purchase PPE for the firefighters to wear uh, when they're out here on the, on the fire line. You know, we had talked about the importance of PPE in days prior, not only to the media, but, you know, we speak about it every day to the firefighters, you know, reminding them to make sure they have all their PPE on to protect themselves. But this stuff is really expensive, and there are smaller departments that maybe can't afford that or maybe need a little extra help to afford that and supplement their budget when it comes to buying this PPE. So that is, is what these FEMA grants would help provide for some of the smaller uh, departments. But it also helps provide uh, larger agencies with funds to do you know, fuels mitigation work or potentially purchase uh, you know, vehicles that they need to come out here and fight these fires. So yesterday they were constructing dozer lines and building uh, alternate and contingency lines uh, in advance of our primary holding lines that we have out there. You can see where the fire is checked up on some of these, these dozer lines, okay, which means it's stopped its forward progress. And so what we're doing right now is inserting uh, hand crews inside there to go in there and really stir up the dirt, get in there and take care of all that hot material, identify where it's at, and if they need a bucket drop or water from the water dropping helicopters, they can call in that, that, that water. They'll fly over, drop that where the crews need it, and then they can get in there and stir it up and really put it out. FEMA is definitely one of the, the, the spokes inside the wheel that makes up the, you know, the overall uh, you know, agencies that are operating and, and working to help contain this. They're, they're not only providing support and, and assisting and helping ordering resources, but they're also assisting the, the public out here. You know, some of the people who have been impacted by the fire maybe lost their homes or you know, some of the departments or agencies that are going to have to deal with the aftermath of this. The fire really is only the beginning, so I can actually see FEMA's role increasing as uh, the fire progresses and into uh, maybe the next rain event uh, when we start looking at potential uh, soil loss and mudslides and things like that that are going to that are going to happen in this fire area. Uh, their role for FEMA, I think, really at this point is just beginning, though. Uh, but they are a part of a, a much larger organization in this incident command structure, uh, where we all work together uh, interagency-wise and, and you know through cooperation and through you know planning to strategize and come up with tactics to help put this you know a fire like this of this magnitude out.